guys, this is The Slinger, and this is another Warframe Grind video. Their rage is vehement, their focus impressive. Give them all warriors' death. Give me an umbral forma. Hey guys, as you see, and I just got out of uh, Mott Steel Path, and I was testing out. The Jet Kazar. Um, I missed out on this weapon, believe it or not. Um, I had it, and I leveled it real quick. But um, at that time, I was kind of like maining Ash. And I didn't like that I couldn't see all the cool stuff going on, so I ended up getting rid of it. But now that I use a lot of different Warframes um, that I can see, I was like, you know what, this is a perfect opportunity to go back and test out some of these, like, corded whip type weapons. And, um... This one was well known to be a pretty good weapon for a while, and then it kind of died out. But um, it's a really good weapon. I'll, I'll give you that. Um, so what I'm going to do, you already saw me in the intro um, in Steel Path, so you know it works. Um, I'll load up some, and I'll unpause Invincibility... I'll put invincibility on because here's the thing. I don't want to hit my number four and nuke everybody. I want you to see just the uh, weapon and I'm not even going to, I'm going to take off my Vobophila here, my Panzer, and I'm going to take off the primer so that you can um, get a feel for the, just the raw damage with 190s. And um, I'm not going to nuke anything. I'm going to try not to nuke anything. Yeah, I got invincibility on, so I should be good. All right, let's do this. There we go. Berserker Fury just kicked in. My red crits are going. So you got to get Berserker Fury kicked in, and that's when she takes a hold. I got two different builds today for you guys, depending on your play style. Um, I do love the optics of this weapon now. And it goes good with Nova. It's it's fun, you know. 
Um, this is my Umbra Nova build. It's not quite done yet, but it works. It'll get just get a little better in a couple months when I get more Umbra Forma. Um, so. And I've got Condemn on there just for uh, crowd control. Just to freeze them so I can kill them. But yeah, there's some nice juicy reds that pop up with the um, with the combos uh, when the counter gets up. So let's get into the build. There's two different builds, like I said, and dep depends on your play style. Um, the obvious one is Heat and Viral. A lot of people do this one. Um, so I put it in here because it does get good damage. It's a proven build that most people use, okay? And it's um, it's something you don't have to use a primer for if you're playing like under a level 100, you know? Um, so just around the board, it's a pretty good uh, weapon. You know, so you sacrificial steel. I mean, if you've done your quests, then you've already got that. Um, it, none of these are super expensive here. Prime Firestorm is the expensive one, and Prime Pressure Point, which are borrow Katir things. Um, what you want to do is if you don't have those, you know what I mean? Um, for what you could do is you could just put a fever strike in there you know what i mean especially if you're playing under 100 remember those are 190s i just killed and you could put um sacrificial pressure and then not even form of this and then just form of this and then you'd fit it all in it's just that later on you're probably going to want to switch it out so this is the this is the most um common build on the internet and it does work so that's why it's called meta right and then this is what's called a primer build it's got the condition overload um but the thing about this is that and let me switch here if you look right here and here the problem with this weapon is that the impact is higher than the slash and it's not just a little bit higher it's it's 79 you know what i mean compared to 45 so to offset that and get slash damage as your primary ips and this does work i've tested it um what you could do is put buzzkill kick carnus mandible and then just have the rest pretty much similar right and then use a primer um if you have a decent primer and a vobal phyla you're going to be doing a lot more damage than this alone okay so just something, you know, if, if you're a primer person anyways or injector person, then this build's going to be the way to go for you because you're going to want that slash as your IPS primary. So, and I know that's a lot and it's coming at you real fast, but that's the basics and the simplicity of the way Warframe works. So you can get um, the viral and the heat very easily off of a primer and then still have the slash as the ips and bleed out for this weapon so all right so i hope that helps um i will uh make this short and sweet get out there and grind and
life support capsule is now available. support has arrived. ready for a capsule. Life support has been replenished. delivered another life support capsule. Life support levels. Extraction it is your best done. option. Tenfold. 